Yeah, well actually at St Ken's it was a, um, a guy came around from Massey who was a food technologist uh, and we were in a physics class and he came and did a little speech and um, yeah, there was about four of us that decided to do food tech from that class. Yeah. We, uh, I think we all came to the conclusion that there's always going to be food. So you'd always have a job, you know. And if you look at the people that were in our class, people are doing quite different things within the uh, food industry from, you know, from what we're doing, this, in, this invention here within beer, and this is in, within milk. A friend of ours is basically running Coca-Cola. Some people are into marketing. The food technology background gives them the science and then they can go forward into marketing with a good background and, you know, what the product's actually about. So I guess as with, with any inventive process, there's the, the failures as well. And uh, I think once you've studied engineering for a while, you realise that a two-inch valve open at two bar can be quite explosive. <laughs> so shorted out the machine, which sort of made this explosive sound. Smoke started coming out and there was me lying on the floor in this pool of beer. And my wife comes in and goes, uh-huh. <laughs> From that we realised that um, Blowing the yeast and beer sediment out of the bottom was no good, so we had to define this sort of sediment removal system and it helped us um, build prototype number two, which led us on to number three, which led us on to the fourth one, which we launched with. So out of adversity comes uh, success. We actually got the, the second prototype after he blew up the first one. We had to build another one. It took seven months to get it, and I got it eight days before actually we were due to stand in front of Big Boys Toys. What we ended up having was um, over about 500 people come and taste the beer and just rave about it. And then since launch, uh, it's been even more phenomenal than that. We've had 161 offers for distribution in 47 countries in our first 14 weeks. I've had about 600 emails. I get calls from all around the world. Uh, we've had a hundred orders from people, even though we say we're not shipping out of New Zealand. We're not there yet, we're still validating the machine, it's only been about 16 weeks. But it's no wonder that, or that the New York Times has said this is the next billion dollar company, because it really is the world's first brewing appliance, and it's a $330 billion industry beer, so if you can get a, a small chink of that... Small, small percentage of that. Everyone's here. When you get that... Um, why has no one done it before? That, that should ring a bell that, that you should seriously look at it because if they haven't done it before and you're excited about the idea then you have potential to, to be successful if you've got the, the guts and the means to, to go for it. You know, If you get an idea and you think it's a clever idea and could turn into a business, really look into it, don't just bypass it. You know, If you get excited about the thought, analyse the market from a computer on the internet, see if there's an opportunity there, just go for it and you have to not give up. You know. If you don't give up, then you're probably going to make it. Yeah.